hey fam welcome back to our channel today i will be showing you all how i make my sea moss gel i know you all are looking at that beautiful smoothie back there don't worry i will also include the recipe to that it is a dragon fruit smoothie but we're going to get into what's inside of that today and that is the star of the show sea moss gel let's get into it Okay, so first let's talk about sea moss. What is it? So it's a type of algae or seaweed, so it comes straight from the ocean, and a lot of people in the health community and weight loss community have been using it as a natural supplement. So some benefits of sea moss are, it's a great boost for your immunity system. It also increases energy levels. And what I love to use it for specifically throughout the sick months are um, the reducing of inflammation and mucus in our bodies. So if you have a lot of mucus, this is a great additive to loosen it up and just kind of clear you out. It's also great for weight management. And so overall, so many great benefits to sea moss. And we've been using it for the past few months on our journey. And so yeah just sharing it with you all okay so what i'm doing here is just kind of filling my sea moss and breaking it up when you first take it out of the packaging it is kind of hard and brittle textured so what we want to do is loosen it up a little bit and give it a good rinse so i'm just going to place it into a bowl and rinse it i'm just kind of pressing it out a little bit and you'll kind of feel it expanding but it's still kind of hard and dry here Okay, so what I'm doing here is just kind of going through the sea moss and loosening it up, just kind of breaking it from being so packed together and getting it prepared to add the water. Okay, and now it's time to add in our components to start taking this sea moss to a gel. And that first ingredient is water, specifically spring water. And you just wanna add in enough to where all of the sea moss is fully submerged and loosened up in there so that it can really sit and get in all of that water. Okay, this part is completely optional, but I have found that adding in things like lemon, orange, or limes like this really help in taking away the um, sea smell. Um, there's really not a taste in my opinion, but you do kind of smell the ocean. So adding in limes like that will help with that. And so we're just gonna seal our sea moss up and I'm gonna take it away to store it in the fridge for the next 12 to 48 hours all right and here we are after two days of our sea moss and water and limes sitting in the fridge here's what we have the texture is definitely a little bit more looser and softer as you can see the sea moss has kind of expanded a little bit so what you want to do is just give it a good rinse and now it's time to add it to the blender Okay, now that all of our sea moss is inside of the blender, we're just gonna add in some water and get to blending. So this does take a lot of blending, maybe like five to seven minutes I was blending this, but one suggestion I would say is to make sure you just add the water as you go so you don't add in too much water and ruin you know, your chances of it being a gel and it coming out too watery. So um, when you add the water as you go, you can kind of form or get to the texture that you're happy with. And there you have it. We are done with our sea moss gel and I'm really happy with the texture that I came out with. It's more of a applesauce type of texture which works really well with all the things I'm planning to add this to like our smoothies and oatmeal and things like that. So um, you can just blend it again to the texture that you think will work best for you. But from here, I'm just going to pop my lid on here and store it in my fridge for the next two to three weeks. 
and try to use the full batch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you give sea moss gel a try. If so, give me some delicious recipes that you're planning to add it to. So that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Later fam. Thank you.